welcome hey. babe, to the very first fall, fall vlog. vlog of 2022. Um, we're extra early this year. But like this weather today, guys, it's like gloomy. <laughs> That's how you we'll show you guys. Giving fall weather. It's so like there's dark clouds. It looks like it could rain. Which we're in hoodies, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's been 90 degrees. Have not been able to wear a hoodie unless it's nighttime. And I'm so happy. I know. I'm just ready. I'm so ready. I'm ready because I feel like fall just motivates me in every way. Summer yes. just drains my bank account and my energy. And yeah, my mental health in a way because Physical I drink health. too much. Yes. So So the fall just like re what is it? Reignites mm -hmm. me. It, sparks. it brings me back sparks to me. life. So you can see those dark rain clouds. Hi beautiful. <laughs> okay. I Ooh. love dark, gloomy Ooh. clouds. What color do we want? Pink. Okay. We got it. Do you like a more purple or more pink? Just whatever it was All last right, time. Cool. You can't even see it right now because because it's gloomy. Yeah. All right. We're good. Okay. So let's, let's go, go to Home Goods. Okay, that wraps up our little shopping day. Um, kind of unsuccessful. We I'm very unsuccessful. so Emily had gone to these like Marshalls and Home Goods. I just went to Home oh, Goods. Oh, that was it. Yeah, you found all that at Home Goods. Yeah, Home Goods had oh, so much cute stuff okay. like two weeks ago, and I was so hyped to go back. So yeah. I was like, there's gonna be so much more. There was like nothing this time. I was yeah. like, uh, what happened? I think it all sold out, honestly. So we literally are leaving empty handed, which I'm shook. I'm by. actually really glad though, cause I'm like <laughs> trying to be better about spending my money because opening up a, a new business is so expensive. I've spent, uh, yeah, so I feel like well, I'm at- training and like in your supplies and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. But it's worth it, it's an investment, but yeah. It is, but I just feel a little bit more. I feel like I need to be way more aware of what I'm spending my money on now, but I am taking clients here very, very soon. I got five models for a full set of lash extensions, and then after that, it's just gonna open my books and take clients, and I'm so excited. So, it'll be fun too, because I've always wanted to like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, I'm gonna be taking clients in September, and that's when the fall starts, and it's just like that's my favorite time. Perfect work. time, yeah. I am really motivated in the fall, so I'm really excited. Ooh. But um, we're gonna go pick up some miso soup for our lunch. I just placed an order to go at Trapper Sushi, which is our favorite, and then we're gonna head home, eat that. I'm gonna show you guys the loft area that I remodeled. I'm gonna show them what I bought at Home Goods oh, yeah. when I went last time. And we're gonna show I you guys. Did, I'm glad I snagged, so I was like, okay, I'll just wait. No. But I'm really glad that I snagged the things that I did. I know, because when you sent me pictures, I was like, yep, get it, yeah. like, don't wait, because what if what if we miss out on it, so I'm you glad. Know? But yeah, 
when we get home and we'll show you guys the things we picked up and continue this vlog. Hopefully, yeah, we don't you guys know are what enjoying else to like so do in this vlog. Like, I know related, that's but. okay. It might be a short vlog, and that's okay. We need to like just learn to post things, even if they're not like perfect. Okay, when well, we're here, I'm gonna go get the soup. Mm. Time to dig in. Okay, it's time to show you, babes. The things that Emily picked up. Yes. I just went through it and I was like, wait, this really is not very much stuff. It's not a lot, but it's something. And we're trying to just not buy too much stuff because we already have stuff. Yeah. If you hear people downstairs, it's just Tatum and Jake. Um, and Leon. <laughs> yeah, and Leon. They're playing out there. Yeah. So just ignore that. But the first thing is this pillow, you guys. Um, Stop it right now. I'm just, just stop so it obsessed. right now. So cute, you guys. This is... Oh. So cute. So cute. Can you close up though? Oh, so fluffy. Like, I don't even know. I feel like this is just like the pillow of my dreams when yeah. it comes to fall. Yes. I love how it's like a different material where the go carpet. Are. Oh my god, and it's just so and it's perfect. Super soft and like fluffy it is too. It's really like cozy. Yeah. And I feel like it's just perfect because it will go with all the interior aesthetic mm -hmm. already. It's not good, like tacky it's not at all. It's very Laura. If you're watching this, you need this, babe. I know this. Does. Laura would love this. Seriously, we love our ghost pillows. And this was twenty four ninety nine. So a yes. little, little expensive for a pillow, but that's okay. Sticking on the ghost theme, um, I picked me and Abby each a ghost candle. Well, it's not a candle. It's an LED candle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you put batteries in it at the bottom oh, and it lights up. It. I'm really excited. To see. I'm hoping it's like a yellowy It probably is. Light, I'm sure. Not a like I'm LED, sure LED one. We'll see. I wish we had batteries so we could show you guys, but, but they're really cute. But like, even if they aren't lit up, they're still just so cute for decor. Yeah. They're a little different. One's a little bit taller and skinny. One's a little shorter and fatter. So we each got a um, fall a candle. candle. I'm obsessed with this one. It just is so simple and aesthetic. I love that. Which I'm just all about the simple, like not tacky vibe when it comes to Halloween decor. So it just says boo. This was $10 and it smells so good. Um, it says, jack oh, it's jack-o'-lantern. Oh, that one does smell really good. It does. It doesn't smell like a jack-o'-lantern though. It's no. kind of smells like spicy. A little spicy. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin-y. It smells yeah. like leaves kind of. Yeah. No, leaves is a little bit more like fresh. I don't know. That's more warm. But I love it. So cute. That's I just mainly cute. got it for the aesthetic, even if I don't burn it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they had that in a mug. If they had that yes. in a mug, I would buy it. That would be, be so cute. cute. Um, and then I got a white pumpkin candle. This is one's from TJ Maxx, and it's Woodwick. And that I love smells Woodwick. So Candles are so cozy when you have them burning. Mm -hmm. And this one smells so yummy. Like It's like ASMR when they're burning. It is. It's just very... Comforting. Like, yeah, very, very comforting. And then last but not least, saved kind of the best for last in my opinion. Now, this is exciting. I've been wanting one of these for so long because my last Lash Tech had one and she, whenever she put it out for Halloween, I was like, I need that. She's like, if I ever see it, I'll like get it for you. And I'm like, okay. And I just, it never stumbled upon one. And Emily sent me a picture because she went without me. And I was like, yes, buy that please. I need that. So been cute. waiting for this to put outside in, in our front fire front door it lights it up lights up so oh my god because so we have like christmas ones of these mm -hmm. but i don't have a halloween one so i'm so excited and like just look at the whole aesthetic like the white and the black yeah it's just all gonna it's go giving. together so well it's serving <laughs> love this aesthetic it's perfect so mm -hmm. this was a little bit this more expensive like, but worth every penny in my eyes. Because this, oh, actually, last, no, this is twenty four ninety nine. Same last, price as a pillow. Yeah, and this will last for years. Yeah, this is a really good deal in my opinion. So, yeah. very happy I finally uh, have one of these for my home. So I'm so excited. All this stuff makes me really happy. I don't know if I'm gonna have my apartment before Halloween. I think I am, but I'm not sure. I mean, I better. But we'll see. I feel like you're gonna move in in October would be your like move in. Yeah, I know. So I'm saying I could still like decorate my apartment for fall, but like also getting moved in would be so, so much work. Yeah, I don't know about that. But I we'll really just hope decorate I here. Time. I mean, I'm hoping to move out like by the end of the first week. You're, of you're October. Is that yours or mine? You can have this. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I bought it, but I guess you can have it. <laughs> I really need well, it for up here. It just looks so good on this couch. I know. Okay, well, that's everything so far. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to show you guys next, but I have to go run an errand real quick. I'm going to go tour a 
potential salon that I might be working at. So, yes, I'm excited for that. But we'll see you guys in a bit soon. Okay, so I want to give you guys a tour of the new loft area. I think that it looks so beautiful. If you guys saw the before, I don't know if I'll insert a picture or if you... I don't think I've ever shown it on YouTube because I didn't like it at all. But I feel like right now it just looks so minimal and neutral and modern. And I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So let's just get into it. So when you walk up the stairs over here, we have this little acrylic side table. This is Emily's. That is going to be temporarily here. I'm going to be sad when she moves out and takes it back. But we just have a Chanel book, which is from Home Goods, And then I think that chain is from Amazon. Then a little CB2 side table, which was actually here originally next to the couch. But we put a mirror here because we wanted a mirror here because there's really good lighting with the two big windows here for like brand picks and stuff like that. So we put a mirror here, which I don't really, I'm not too crazy about the way it looks, but it's just, like I said, for content kind of thing. Um, and then over here, this is the couch that I bought from Crate and Barrel. And I will have all the stuff linked in the description in case you're interested. Emily hates the two cable knit pillows and I, I see what she means. I feel like I do need different pillows. This couch originally came with like, really skinny circle like circular like they looked like bolsters <laughs> um and i just felt like they didn't look cozy enough so i replaced the pillows with these and the these are all from target all these pillows i really like this boot clay one i think it's so gorgeous but i just love the one seat cushion i feel like that looks so just modern and nice um, the only complaint I have about this couch is that it makes, like, a lot of noise kind of when you sit on it. There's a lot of, like, kind of sounds like newspaper, um, so that's kind of weird. And then when you sit on it, it kind of leaves a little bit of wrinkles, but I personally don't really mind. This is a couch that not very many people sit on, so I wouldn't really recommend this for, like, a living room where a lot of people are going to be sitting on it. This is a room that really is just for me. And Emily, even Jake doesn't even sit up here, so so it's totally fine. But just wanted to point that out. But I got the deep version, so I love how deep this couch is. It's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I just love the color of it and the material. Obsessed. So cute. And then, so here I have a shag rug from Target and then this... Boucle Ottoman is also from Target and I think it's absolutely stunning. It was such a good price. It was actually on sale when I got it. Well, it wasn't on sale when I got it, but it went on sale a few days after and then I called customer service and they price adjusted it for me. So pro tip, if you buy something expensive and then it goes on sale at Target, you can call customer service and they will adjust the price and refund you, which is so amazing. I was really sad. I was like, no, it literally was like $80 off. And I was like, that's a kind of a lot to just ignore. But I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. I don't know what this is. I think we had something on it, but that just buffs out. And then over here, we got a new TV, like media console. And I absolutely love the way that this looks. I love the light wash wood with the black hardware i think it looks so like chic and modern and expensive and this was a really good price for how good of a quality like piece of furniture this is even jake was really impressed and he's usually not impressed with anything i get he thinks it's all cheap and crap but he he recommends this too he put it together and he said it was really easy to put together and i think it looks gorgeous and it's actually really big too like this is a huge tv and it fits really well. And I've been obsessed with this candle from Target. It's a Woodwick candle and it burns so good and it's just so cozy and obviously aesthetic. I love the colors. And then over here, another faux plant from Target. I mean, it's the only faux plant we have up here, but so much of this stuff is from Target. I absolutely love Target, especially like this new Studio McGee stuff. It's so pretty. So... Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. And also, we did get a new light fixture. 
the one we had before was so gross. It was just like, I can actually, actually no, I think, oh, it's in here. I'll show you guys. Not a fan, not a fan. That's the last one left in the house, I think. Um, so we got that from Amazon, it's super affordable and just looks really cool and modern. Also a view of the entire back of the couch, I love the back view, I think it just looks really cute. It is really short as well, so keep that in mind, but overall I absolutely love this new area and I love sitting here and reading my new like Colleen Hoover books. I've been obsessed with Colleen Hoover, so I just snuggle up right here on the couch, light this candle and read. And it's just been so nice to have like my own little area of the house that's not cluttered by like toddler toys and stuff like that. So yeah, but that is the tour. I hope you guys like it. If there, anyone has like recommendations to make this space look a little bit more alive, I'm all ears. I do think I want to get some art for above that little you know, table. I was originally gonna put a circle mirror and then my mom pointed out that that would just be a reflection of the TV and that just would be annoying. So definitely want some art up here. But that is the tour and let me know what you babes think. So Abby is drinking wine and I'm making dinner. So I just, because <laughs> Emily, Emily had a girls wine night last night and I was really jealous. I just yeah. stayed home, so I'm having a I girls. felt bad she couldn't come. It's okay. She didn't have a babysitter. But it was fun. I, I didn't even ask, I, nor would I. I had a girls night, it was really fun. I'm really glad I'm making some girlfriends. Um, I know I was excited. But that. anyway, I just put some veggie tots in the air fryer from Trader Joe's. You wanna get those out so I can show them what it looks like? I already got them out, you put them back in? Yeah, Oh, I already cooked them. But we're making tuna sandwiches for our dinner. So this is um, just solid white tuna from Trader Joe's. Those are the veggie tots that we're Did you looking make, up. Yeah, they're done. Did you potato them with like them? Maybe. Did you make enough? I made enough, yeah. Okay. I don't know if he's gonna like them or not, but he probably. I feel like toddlers have a sixth sense, sixth sense when it comes to vegetables. Yeah, they just because know. I tried to buy him chicken nuggets and veggies in them, and he was like, Bleh. "This is disgusting." I was like, "Dude, these do not taste any different." The kids so, know. Unfortunately. So I'm just gonna scoop this tuna out into a bowl. We just um, toasted a bun, just an onion bun. Those are the best. I didn't know we had more. I got more and we didn't, I didn't even need to. Yeah, no, probably not. But uh -oh. just, we're just gonna do half of a bun each, like an open um, bun sandwich. So, is that the word? Open, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna just put some light mayonnaise in the tuna. Is this Ooh, the, I hate that yeah, this is the rest of the avocado I gave to you, right? Yeah, half of an avocado. Whoa. And. Um, Some, do, do what, do what? You wanna talk? Yeah. Okay, one second. And then dill pickle mustard from Trader Joe's Fire. I know, I need to buy more before. I wonder if it's like a summer thing. I know, they'd be doing that to us. They do, all the time. Putting us through trauma. <laughs> and then we're gonna put a piece of sharp cheddar. She is All right, here, I'll help you. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say something. What are you gonna say? Um, I don't know. <laughs> they say Sonic. Sonic? Yeah. How old are you? Um, still four. Still four? Enough. What's your name? Tatum. When's your birthday? Uh, in December 24th? I think so. You think so? <laughs> I think so. Look how beat you are. So heavy. Ooh. I can't even. Uh, oh. Okay, let go. I'm stuck. Okay, okay that was not recently. Let go of mommy's hand. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Uh oh, you got a heap stick on your forehead. Fart. You're about to fart? Yeah. All right, see ya. You're nice knowing you. That one day when your girlfriend <laughs> watches that. Oops, I just let that go for too long. But we got extra melting cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. And then it smells good. You think oh. so? I want to try one. I'll make you one right now. Got gotcha. Himalayan salt. Mm. And then some crushed red pepper. Mm. I'll make one for you. Just a okay. little bit. I'll yeah. make 
I do this right now. I do this. Mix it okay, all it. up. Okay. So as dipping sauce for the tater tots or the veggie tots, I'm gonna use Chick-fil-A sauce because do I need to explain? It's literally the best thing ever. Are you are you putting crushed pepper on top? Um you can if you want. You want some yeah. Chick-fil-A sauce? Yes, please. Okay. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product, even though it's not. I'm just gonna bring this over here. Okay. My favorite wine. Abby's drinking wine. I'm gonna drink some Diet Dr. Pepper because I'm gonna go for a walk after this. I've been trying to go for walks almost every day. I am so full, you guys. It didn't look like a lot of food, but I swear it was so filling and so delicious. You guys should really try that out. It's a really easy, quick, and yummy meal. But I hope you babes enjoyed this video, the first fall vlog of 2022. I cannot wait to keep filming these vlogs for you guys and videos. Um, we're gonna obviously do a fall favorites, fall fashion hauls, fall must-haves, fall perfumes. Really wanna do that as well. I know I've been talking about a perfume video forever, so. I think this video has been long enough, so please don't forget to like this video if you're excited for more yes. fall content and videos to come. Sorry, Abby and Tatum are coming downstairs if you hear some background noise. But I hope you babes have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching, and I will see you very soon in our next one. Okay, bye babes. No, I don't wanna see that. Okay, what do you want to say? XOXO? Yeah. Okay, one, okay. two, three. XOXO, X -O, McKnight Twins. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs>